Here are the top five things that you absolutely need when you're traveling from Alaska all the way down to Panama. We're currently traveling the Pan American Highway. This is one of the most famous highways in the entire world. And before you come, you're gonna want these couple of things on your list so you don't make the same mistakes we did. And make sure you stay all the way to the end for our special bonus tip. We don't wanna miss it. Bonus tip! I got a chai latte with almond milk, which I'm very excited about. But the first thing on our list that you absolutely need is tons of paperwork and copies of all your official documents. So obviously you need a visa that is up to date and has a lot of time on it, but you need copies of that visa, you need copies of your driver's license, you need your registration, your title even, and copies of all of these things. You don't want to give anybody real copies of it, so you want copies of everything. There are photocopy places all over Central America where you can really easily and cheaply make copies but you always want to make sure that you have them on your person just in case. I would say get 20 copies of everything. That will serve you well for the rest of the way down. When you're going to a border crossing, you're also going to need all of this paperwork and it will save you time and energy and stress to not have to go back and forth to the copy office. When they give you a piece of paper at the border, also make a copy of that because you might need it for the next border too. They love paper here. They love it. The guy actually walked over and was like, you need a copy of this, so. The helper helped without us actually uh, securing the helper. So now we've got to find the copy shop, which was easy because everybody wants your money. We also have our friends with us here. They're going to help give some tips along their journey as well. We got Ernie and Alan. Yeah. Time. You don't want to rush anything. There's too much to see. Don't just do it to do it. Do it to enjoy. All right, Ernie, give me a moment while I enjoy my iced latte. Thank you so much. Next up, you have to have travel medical insurance. We went with Safety Wing for ours because it's affordable and it works in every country that we're going to. Safety Wing covers 180 countries all over the world. From Alaska to Panama, you have to go through the US or Canada, which you're Canadian, you're from the US. Safety Wing is not valid in your home country. Actually, Safety Wing covers home visits it's like 15 days every 90 days, up to 30 days every 90 days. So you can be in your home country for a small amount of time every 90 days. But I don't think it covers you there. It does. It covers home visits for that amount of time. For a short period of time. Yeah. I'll put up the actual number right here. When you're walking through an area, you never know what's going to happen. You could trip over something and fall down and break your arm. And you're just going to, you're going to really want insurance for a situation like that. Whatever happens while you're traveling the Pan American Highway, the safety wing deductible is only $250. So if you end up with medical expenses more than that, you can submit all of your receipts all online because it's a digital nomad company made by digital nomads for digital nomads. Oh, and the best part is you don't have to be in your home country to sign up. So if you're already abroad or traveling the Pan American Highway, you can sign up for it wherever you are. Why did you guys choose safety wing? Because it was cheap. It was so cheap. Like, perfect. Safety Wing is super affordable. You just tell it which countries you'll be traveling in and then it gives you a rate. The United States is a little bit more expensive than the rest of the world because health coverage of the United States is very expensive. Got it? Yeah, she's locked up and safe. Like Safety Wing? Like safety Wing. <laughs> So definitely before you leave home, get the number two item on our list, which is travel medical insurance from Safety Wing. We'll have a link down below to make it easy to sign up. Even easier than it already is. Because you never know when the sidewalk's just gonna end. When you're driving down the Pan America Highway, you're actually gonna be driving on some pretty decent roads, but there's gonna be situations where the roads just get really bad and you're gonna need some recovery gear. For your safety and recovery kit, here's a couple things you absolutely must have. Installing a backup cam on your vehicle. Toolbox with the uh, variety of essential tools. Traction boards to get out of sticky situations. And if you don't have four by four, you might wanna put a wench on. Peanut butter. <laughs> Just in case you get stuck too long, you have something to munch on. First aid kit. You absolutely need a heavy duty recovery strap that can pull your vehicle. An air pump so that way you could air down and then be able to air back up. Window covers. 
definitely a fan of some sort. Make sure you have good tires. You don't want to start this drive on a set of bald tires. Tire plugs might be a good uh, good thing to have too. Duct tape. <laughs> that fixes duct tape everything. from the US. Yeah, it's hard tape. to find good duct tape down here. Some type of light that you could light up the road in front of you if you're gonna go down some like gnarly roads at night. A cell phone or some kind of way to connect. You can get local SIM cards, but you're definitely gonna wanna have a GPS, a map, and a translation app to get yourself out of trouble. That works offline. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Sweet. Come on, this way. The Pan American Highway is huge and vast, so you have to be ready for all different types of weather. If you're coming from North America, I know you're heading south and you think it's gonna be hot all the time, but if you're at elevation, it could actually be very cold. So you need to have all seasons of clothing and bedding and blankets and things like that so that you're ready for when it's hot and you're ready for when it's cold. This means you're gonna need recovery gear for winter stuff as well, which means that you would need some snowshoes or some snow chains so you can get through the snow. So of course there's so much delicious food to choose from down here, but there's some things from home that you might miss out on. And especially when you want to cook at home for yourself. If there's certain brands or certain products that you just absolutely love and can't live without, make sure to stock a bunch of them before you leave. The one thing I'm really missing is Earl Grey tea. It's Ooh. really hard to find high quality different teas other than chamomile and green or black, like super basic. I like a jasmine, I like an Earl Grey, and they just don't exist. One thing I really miss is vegan mac and cheese, and that's something that you could easily store. We grabbed like five boxes before we came down, and we're on our last one. And we just haven't made it, because we know it's our last one. So grab like 10 to 20 boxes of that. You could definitely stack it up in the van and nobody's gonna bother you uh, for like produce or anything when it comes to the vegan mac and cheese. The other thing that we're really missing is like a vegan meat option. We have been able to find some tofu in various places, some very expensive Beyond Meat, but we're glad that we stocked up on our Four Patriot stuff. So we have the black bean burgers, we have the chicken mix, we have the fajita mix, so we can easily make our vegan meat substitutes on the road. A great thing about Four Patriots is that they package each one individually. They'll have up to 10 servings in each one. And then there's a packet in there that keeps it dry. So even when you're in these humid environments, you don't have to worry about it going bad. Listen carefully, it's Kraft macaroni and cheese, but it's deluxe with the little pouch that you squeeze it out of. Oh that you'll not find down here, so pack it away. Crackers, really good crackers, like a lot of greens and sesame seeds and all kinds of stuff. Nice. They're terrible crackers. Peanut butter, almond butter, all the butters, bring it down here. Nice. A second bottle of sriracha. Oh, nice. you're running out. Nice. Yeah. yeah. No, we ran out a long time ago. <laughs> Bonus tip! Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> you gotta stash some cash in your van. You wanna have some American dollars hidden somewhere and keep them where nobody's gonna find them, but they come in super handy. They take American dollars everywhere so you can never have enough dollar dollar bills. Another thing about money. You're gonna pay a lot more money for camping down here when like in the States, we pretty much never paid for camping because there's a lot of like BLM and land that you could camp for free on. So be prepared for that as well or just make friends with really cool people that get Airbnbs. Let us know what tip surprised you the most in the comments below in this video. And be sure to check the link for Safety Wings so that you can be completely covered for your Pan American adventure. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can watch our nine countries in nine months so you know what to expect when you're making this trip yourself. It's gonna be F and A. The support of your friends and family is also so important, so thank you to all of our Patreons. Ever agree to go to an ATM with somebody asking you for money? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. No.